Wow. That's amazing. Wow. St. Martin's Island is what's on the menu today. And in order to get there, it's going to be about a five hour ferry ride. As you know, I'm not a massive fan of uh, ferries, but, uh, but we'll see. We'll see what this one is like. St. Martin's Island, nestled within the northeastern part of the Bay of Bengal. It boasts tropical vibes, pristine beaches, and is the only coral island in Bangladesh. I would say a honeymooner's dream. Let's hope it's not choppy waters today. Nice and steady is what we want. Gosh, it's busy on board already. Amazing. There were a lot of people boarding this boat and everybody spread out to find a seat. Does that mean go? It made me want to run for cover. I hate boats. Uh, we're ready to go. Excellent. I'm lying. It's not excellent. Before I knew it, it was too late to change my mind. So I stood up for the departing view. St Martin's Island, here we come. It's very, very grey today. I don't know, I just sort of feel like I'm back in the UK. Amit's saying, oh no, it might be drizzling. I'm like, it's okay, it feels like home. Just a little bit warmer. I was hoping very much that my plans to avoid seasickness would be successful. I've taken my Quells tablet. As I'm sat here, I'm looking out. We are now entering the Bay of Bengal and I can see the waves. And I'm really hoping that they don't get too large. I estimate they're about, with, with spray included, maybe two and a half feet. <laughs> so they're not very big. But the fact that I can see them makes me a little bit nervous. I'm, I'm not really a water baby. I've had some terrible boat experiences in my life and now I, I won't even go in a dinghy without taking a, a seasickness pill. I can honestly say that going on a boat is exactly like childbirth. Everybody starts off really happy and excited, say goodbye to your friends at the port, give it 34 minutes and the smiles start to fade. Whilst some people started to struggle, there was a group of Bangladeshis that did a sterling job of keeping spirits up. That's very nice, isn't it? It's lovely, it's really lovely. I'd made a friend. Go on then. Hi. Thank you so much. Hi. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know whether eating crisps was a good idea, but I did it anyway. Ah. Mm. The um the onboard entertainment's fantastic. It's a very friendly group of science and maths yeah. students very clever and uh, they are providing very chilled out entertainment we had this awful kind of like loudspeaker before with, with booming music and fortunately that stopped and now we've got the acoustic version which is really really lovely unfortunately the booming music returned and i have to say the choice was somewhat dubious Okay, right, so I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but basically okay. they're playing the Titanic theme tune right now. Would you play the Titanic theme tune on a boat? Jack! Jack! Forget Jack, we were still afloat, but people were starting to struggle. I feel alright actually because I've, I've had medication for so many people being sick. Um, Armit was telling me Bangladeshis are like don't really like this sort of thing very much. Everywhere I went, people were either hanging over the edge or lying on the floor looking like they really didn't want to be there. However, finally, good news came. We can just about see the island in the distance. 
The atmosphere on board started to change as soon as we all saw the island. Grimaces turned to smiles and it felt wonderful seeing local life rather than two and a half foot waves. The whole journey had taken us six hours that day and I was so ready to disembark. Time to get off. The spot arm it now. We're stuck. there'd be a lot of people happy to be off the boat. Wouldn't like to see the Bay of Bengal on a stormy day. No thanks. There we go. There's the boat. There's the boat. Do you know what? I'm suddenly hungry. Let's get to the hotel and get some food, yeah? I think my body's just gone, oh, very really lovely. You're off the boat. One thing to bear in mind if you choose this destination for your honeymoon is that you may look a little green upon arrival. But you'll soon be distracted by the busy market and there's lots of food on offer should you be hungry. Hope you like fish. So they've got their fish ready for frying here, look, see? Wow. Pickles and stuff, pickles and nuts and dried fruits maybe. There's so much going on, got the coconuts. It is packed, most likely because the berries have come in a bit more. More cooking here. Apparently our hotel is a few minutes warm, so we're just easing through. Goats, kids. Welcome to Island Life. I was very grateful that as we eased through the market and out the other side, life became a little quieter. Right, we're out of the main high street now. It's easing off a little bit and we're just walking towards our hotel. Exceptionally busy by the harbour. It's good to see the island in full swing because I was reading that they've been struggling, obviously with Covid and tourism. Doesn't look like they're struggling right now, that's for sure. Walking past lots and lots of little shops, I could see openings where I got a glimpse of the tropical world beyond. I don't know why I never associated Bangladesh with islands, island life. And of course they've got islands. Right, now that we're out of the main, uh, I want to call it the city centre. It's obviously not a city. We're just passing houses now so we can see how people live. Going past the sort of little school. So the kids go to the madrasa schools here and they get the Friday off, I think. It's Saturday today, they're back in business. So this island has a cyclone centre. When they have a cyclone, they can all head in there and it's meant to be stronger, built stronger, basically, I guess, than the houses. Walking further towards our hotel, I could see just how pretty this island was. It's a lot calmer here. Just going the other side of the island. Short walk, it's a lot calmer. It's nice to see some British aid getting this far. Uh, there's support for the Rohingya people in Cox's Bazaar and also support for the livelihoods of people here which I know has been really Hello. damaged. Hello. There are faces here. Bet they're a bit shy aren't they ready? Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Spotted our hotel and it's, uh, it's by a beach. It's a lot quieter here. It's, it's pretty cute around here actually. Look. This is how Bangladesh does holiday resort. After what felt like an epic journey, finally we made it. Let's see where we're going. Wow, look, it overlooks the village. Look at this. Look at that. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, the ocean from the window. Awesome. Thank you. Ah. Oh. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Yes. Oh, wow, the water comes in at night. Wonderful. That is my view. Cool. Wow. Lots of space in here. Oh, and it looks like I've got a little balcony. Let's have a look. Oh, nice. Oh, lovely. Wow, look at this. I'm going to sit here and watch the view. Gosh, that's great, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, lovely. I just walked out from the hotel. 
and this is the beach the hotel is on. Not bad, hey? Having a little stroll down the beach and I said to uh, Armit, oh, it'd be great to get like a cup of tea or something. And we just watched the sun go down from here. It's gorgeous. Look at these little pop-up shops, look. These little cafes, they're sweet, aren't they? Oh, lovely. This is so cute. Look, this little bamboo style stall. I'm going to sit here and watch the uh, sun go down. And he's going to make the tea. You see? Yeah. Thank you so much. There we go. Right, let's sit down. My fingers are burning. I'm going to put them on the table. Ouch. Front row seats here. Front row seats. Sitting down. Oh gosh, nice. After enjoying our tea and noticing that the colours were becoming really vibrant, we decided to walk closer to the sea. There's something about being by water, isn't there? Something that's like, I don't know, instantly relaxing. I've often thought about, you know, whether I would move from London to the coast. But I somehow never get round to it because London's kind of cool and I think my kids would kill me. But uh, I don't know, maybe when I'm old and grey, I'll find a little holiday home somewhere, a little bungalow on the coast. Just then, we met with St Martin's locals Aziz and Kada, who I was going to spend some time with the next day. And they strolled with us to enjoy the sunset. Wow. That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> These guys live and work here. That This is the best office ever. Whew. Wow. The colour. It's like almost red. I wasn't allowed to take my drone to St Martin's, so I decided to put my Insta360 on a very long stick to try and get you some perspective shots. And it was whilst doing this, I spotted that picture-perfect couple going in with my phone now for the um, romantic couple. Romance is what St Martin's does really well. So I think we need some music. Right, how about this? Maybe not. How about this? I bet I know what they were talking about. Do you fancy Hilcher or Pomfret fish tonight, love? <laughs>